Wouldn't it be really nice to be able to print to any of your 3D printers, no matter what the manufacturer is, from a single slicer? And if that single slicer could produce even better results than the slicer that you were using with the printer already, and it's free, and it's open source as well? Well, there is one slicer that can do all of that. I wanted to share it with you today because I'm super impressed with it because it changed everything for me when it comes to using the K1 printer. So stick around. A little while back, I was sent this printer from Creality. It is their K1 printer. There are two versions of this printer. There's the K1 and the K1 Max. K1 Max is, of course, bigger. And it also has some more automation. It's got LiDAR scanning. It has some other additional features built into it as well. This one has those features, but they are optional. When I first started to print with this printer, I was getting some issues with vibration. And I was also seeing some variation in that outer most visible wall on my prints as well. I thought some of it may come down to the calibration of the filament that I was using. Anytime that you start with a new filament, you need to calibrate that filament on this printer. Whereas if you're using the bamboo printer, that process is automatic. But of course, this printer is far more expensive than the K1. The other side of it, I think, comes down to the software that we're using. The slicer isn't that refined when you compare it to some of the other slicers. Creality Print just isn't a very good slicer, in my opinion. So I have tried using Prusa Slicer with this printer. I was able to get it to work, but I wasn't able to get very good results with it either because there were no default settings that were available for me to pull in. So I just left it at that up until this point in the hopes that something better would come out, and it finally has. So a few videos showed up on my feed showing off a slicer called Orca Slicer. And I'd heard of it before, but I didn't realize that it had become so good. So I went ahead and downloaded it. And within 10 minutes of downloading that software, I was able to get a print going on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, and it turned out flawlessly. Mind you, that print was just a flat piece of PETG with a little bit of infill, but at least it proved that I was able to send to the printer with no issues. So that was one printer down, one to go. So the K1 printer is a little bit more time consuming to get set up, but it was definitely worth it. And if I can do it, you can do it too. First thing we need to do is update the firmware on the printer. And if you're connected to Wi-Fi like I was, it came up automatically saying that there was an update. When you do that, it's going to allow you to enable root access to your printer in the menu. So now we can enable root access on this printer. And it should come up with a message saying what the login and what the password is. And for mine, the password is Creality underscore 2023. So now we can install a software that allows us to interact with the printer on our computer. So the software that I've used is called MOBA Xterm. I'm not going to go into too much detail about these softwares because there's already a really detailed walkthrough showing exactly what you need to do. And I'll make sure to link that in the description below. After you get through the steps in the link, you'll need to download Orca Slicer unless you already have done that. I'll link that one below as well. We need to be able to send to the K1 from Orca with the push of a button. No exporting or importing G-code or anything like that. And that's done through this Wi-Fi button. So you can click on that and rename the printer if you like. So then the important part here is to add the IP address with the Fluid or Mainsail Edition. I'd need it to be 192.0.0.156 colon 4408. And if everything was entered correctly, you should run your test and it should have success. And when you move over to the device page, you should see the UI you selected here, whether it's the 4408 Fluid or 4409 Mainsail. Both do pretty much the same thing. It's really a matter of personal preference here. So if you haven't already done the calibration on your mesh bed leveling and input shaping, now is the time to do it at your printer. We will do some calibration on the filament, but before that, I want to see if this even works. So for the first print, I want something simple. I'm going to load in some fluorescent green PETG and print some lenses for my LED lights. I just need to slice and print and nothing more. And let's see if it works. Perfect, it sends directly to the printer. Let's see how the prints actually turn out. And they look great. Perfect, the quality looks good. There was a little blob of PETG that I had to remove from the very first oozing of the PETG. These fit into the lights just like this and they work like they should. 
And now it's time to print the part that I wasted so much filament on. This is a magnetic drill press chuck key holder I designed a few videos ago. I was never able to get very good quality results through Creality Print. Let's see if this brings the print quality to what it should be. I'm printing this one with Creality Hyper PLA, which is probably the most accurate filament I've ever printed with. It also gives great results on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. The first print is done. This is done as a heavy wall print. Lots of walls, lots of tops, lots of bottoms, heavy infill. They tend to be a little bit harder to get really good results with unless you've dialed everything in perfectly. I've also printed the same part with less walls and thinner layers. But I think these can be quite a bit better with some calibration. Orca Slicer has all the tests built in for calibration of your filaments. For this video, I'll be doing flow and pressure advance. On the other side of it, Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Printer calibrates automatically with LiDAR scanning. The K1 doesn't do that. So I'll run these calibration steps and then reprint and then see if the results are any better. I went ahead and sprayed all of my test samples with gray primer to see the defects a little bit better. But before we get to the results, make sure that you like and subscribe unless you have already and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is released. These are all the samples using Creality Print I also painted this one red for my drill press. As you can see, I was having quite a bit of trouble with this one. These are the samples from Orca before calibrating the filament. There is definitely less vibration. And these are the samples after calibration and the results are even better. So I can finally print to this printer with confidence, with the click of a button, exactly like I want it to be. And it's super fast. It's open source, it's free, it's got everything as far as new features go, and most importantly, it's named after a killer whale. If you wanna find out more about this slicer, you can find the GitHub link below. So if you're like me and you're looking for a better slicer than Creality Print, go ahead and try Orca Slicer. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. And thanks again to all of my patrons for helping to support this channel and helping to provide content like this. Take care, we'll see you on the next one.